Chet it, Bobby, I got paper to get. Yeah. Thank the Lord that my paper legit. Woo! Chetty Bobby 11, buddy. We are back with episode 18 of 31 Days of Horror, 31 Days of Halloween. I messed up on my last one and said it was episode 16 when it was actually 17. I filmed these in chunks, so I just kind of got confused. But this one is actually the day of. Um, I'm running behind, about to go to work. But we're going to talk about one that I watched last night, and that is Us. I never got a chance to see it at the theater. We're going to get right into it, man. First and foremost, be sure to subscribe to the Triple Flicks Mafia channel in the description box. That's my group channel. We do a lot of movie stuff on there, so be sure to subscribe to that. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, be sure to do that as well. I appreciate you. Let me get this out by saying, I thought Get Out was good, but I thought it was a little overrated. I wasn't one of the ones that thought it was amazing. So when I saw this trailer for this movie, I wasn't that excited. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought the trailer, the music in it was cool. But I was just confused as to what the movie was about. Um, and I just wasn't that big, that hype on it. It came out in the theaters. I didn't go see it at the theaters. When it came out on 4K, I was like, I'll wait till it gets cheap. I found it for like a flash sale for like 10 bucks on Amazon. And I price matched it at work. So I got it for like 10, 12 bucks. I can't remember what it was. It was like $10.99 or $9.99 or something. And I was like, I'm going to get around to it and watching it. So I was sitting here last night figuring out what I was going to watch. I watched Pineapple Express which I love, I've seen it a hundred times. I was like, man, let me find something to watch. And I was like, look, I could watch Us because that'll knock out a movie for 2019 and it'll knock out a movie I can do for my 31 days. So written and directed by Jordan Peele, let me start by saying this movie was great. I thought it was so great. I, I was a huge fan of this movie after I watched it, man. The score was amazing. It was an awesome score, like soundtrack, you know, like but just the score in general, the way he did it. Um, and like Jordan was telling me last night, a lot of directors and composers are starting to mimic this, the way he did the score in this. Um, I thought it was shot amazing. I thought it was very shot very well. The cinematography in it was great. It does have some plot holes, um, but overall, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, could, I, I look forward to watching it again. Uh, this came out March 24th of this year, 2019. Had a $20 million budget. And just in the U.S., it grossed $175 million. Worldwide, it grossed $255 million. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, Jordan Peele, I mean, he got him another one with this one. Um, Lupita Nyong'o is the main character. And basically, it's about her family that it's her, her husband, and their two kids. They have a daughter and a son. They go down to um, Santa Cruz, but the movie starts off as Lupita Nyong'o's character as a girl. She's at an amusement at an affair in Santa Cruz with her mom and dad. Um, her dad, you can tell, is like either like he's an alcoholic or he's just not really around a lot. So he's he's playing whack a mole, not paying attention. His wife go, his wife, which is her mom, goes to the restroom and she wanders off onto the beach into this place where you can like see yourself. It's like one of those places where it's like a bunch of like trick mirrors and all that. And when she's in there, she sees herself, but she's turned, she's not looking, it's not a reflection, it's turned the other way. The character turns around and then it cuts away and fast forwards to the present time. So you're watching it and they decide as a family, and the dad's really corny, but he wasn't near as cringe as he was in the trailer because I, I get what they were doing with, I get what the way they were going with the, with the dad. Um, I understand what they were trying to go for with him. And I, I get it. It was fine. It didn't bother me as near as bad as I thought it would. So when they get there, she's really skeptical about going because of what happened when she was a kid. And then it flashes back of her thinking about when she's a kid and like they're at therapy and she's not talking to anybody and all this other stuff. I'm not going to give spoilers in this movie. Just know that it's once they get down there and they start seeing all I'm going to say is they're, they're, the family is at the home. Her husband knows nothing about what happened to her when she was a kid. Then she starts seeing things and she tells him what happens. And he's like half-ass believes her. Well, then they see a silhouette outside of the four of them, four people that they find out is evil versions of them, of themselves. And then shit hits the fan from there. 
It's got two plot twists. It's got two like swerves at the end. I was a big fan, um, especially the last swerve, which I guess this is considered a spoiler because I said there's a swerve. But I'll just leave it at that, man. I don't want to go too far into it, but I thought the movie was great. It's up. It's in that. It's probably in my top five for sure of this year. I've seen like 26 movies, not near as many as I saw last year. I'll end up ramping that up towards the in the next two three months. I'm gonna watch the Marvel films that came out this year. I haven't watched those. I'm gonna power through all those. I'm gonna watch John Wick three. There's a whole list of stuff I gotta watch. Another 20 25 I need to watch. But right now it's in my top five top three of this year. I thought it was. The, the cinematography was great. The music was great. It was very creepy. had a great vibe to it. Um, and I thought, granted, it did have a couple of plot holes with certain things, but I feel like Jordan Peele wasn't worried too much about that stuff. He was worried about the overall narrative of what the, show, the, the, the movie is about. Um, and if you haven't seen it after you watch it, you can look up Explain videos to kind of get more of an idea. Cause I don't want to spoil anything on these. I just like to, it's more like suggestion. If I had to give this a score, I would give it like a four and a half out of five, man. I thought it was great. Um, I look forward to checking it out again. I think me and Viz will probably watch it again. I don't know if Tony, I know Tony liked it. I don't think he loved it, but, um, but man, big fan of us. So y'all gonna be sure to go check that out. You could probably, it'll probably be one of those black Friday titles. It's like 10 to $15 range on 4k. The Blu-ray will probably be under 10 bucks. Definitely worth it to me. Um, but yeah, y'all be sure to like, comment, subscribe, man. Thank y'all once again for all the continued support. I love each and every one of y'all. Peace.